This is the second video of the series in which we are implementing materialized card in Jubo 8. In this video we are going to be disabling the aggregation in order to see which new assets are added to the page as we declare our library's YAML file and through it we implement the materialized CSS and JavaScript files that we need. We're going to use the info file for attaching the library and we're going to locate the template files we have to override and we're going to implement the markup that we actually need in order for our content to look like materialized cards. So let's jump to our Drupal instance and let's go ahead and deactivate the aggregation. So we're going under configuration and then performance and as we deactivate the aggregate CSS and JavaScript files and as we go to the front page we would see that actually now we're able to see which CSS and JavaScript files are added one by one they're not aggregated anymore so the next thing we want to do is we want to download the materialize CSS and JavaScript files in our custom team that we already declared. So let's go to materializecss.com and if we go under getting started and under download materialize we're going to download it to our Drupal instance code base under teams custom drupal up and we're going to create a new folder called assets and we're going to save it there first so let's jump to our code base drupal up teams custom assets and let's unzip it perfect so now we have materialized here with the CSS and JavaScript files. As we see here, all we have to do is we have to add basically the CSS materialize min CSS file and the JS materialize min JS file. So let's go ahead and do it in our library's YAML file. But first we have to create it, so we go under our team and we create a new file and call it the name of our team dot libraries dot yaml. It's perfect and we're going to call it materialize. perfect and we're going to declare the CSS file and it is going to be under team and as we go here under assets materialize CSS and if we try to rename it we would actually get the full path it's perfect so we may just say like this and the next thing we want to do is we want to declare also the JavaScript file and we may do the same thing for the JavaScript file here rename and just get the full path perfect and in order to at basically our library would have to go to our info file and say libraries and here we say Drupal up materialize that's perfect so if we go to our Drupal instance and if we clear the cache with the help of the web profiler module basically the 
materialize min CSS and the materialize min.javascript would be added. Yeah, it's quite obvious that they are there, but we just go ahead and check here. Materialize CSS and also the JavaScript file is there. That's perfect. Now what we want to do is we want to go under list of cards, the view that we just created, but as we see here it was not saved, the changes that we made were not saved, so let's go ahead and save them. So under structure, views, list of cards, we see here with the star indicating that our change is not being saved so let's go ahead and save it and yeah that's perfect and if we go under the page we see that it looks quite good now what we want to do is we want to override the markup and make it look like basically a card that we see here so what we're going to do is we're going to inspect and see from where the views unformatted field comes from so it comes from core teams table templates views view view fields so we just go in our code base and open the core and teams and stable template views and views view fields is what we're interested in and just copy it and create a folder here templates and just paste that body here but in addition we want to make it a bit more specific because if we just leave it like this it will override all the views view fields templates that are used in any view on the page that is using the custom team so we want to make it a bit more specific and we want to rename it and if we go to our view the first thing we want to do is we want to copy the bit after views view and we want to say dash dash and like this and then one more time dash dash and the machine name of the view which is here you may change it but if you change it you should use another one here so if we just save it like this and if we go back to our page and clear the cache one more time would see that basically from now on the markup is coming from our team so here we see that it comes from teams custom drupal up templates views view fields list of cards page one that's perfect that's that's exactly what we want to do and now the next thing we want to do is we want to get the markup here from the card and we want to implement it for the output of our view so here what is actually done is it's being for each and we basically what we can do in order to print something is we want to use directly fields and here we want to say 
the name of the field so for sure I know that title is title and then we're saying just content that's perfect so we want to delete this bit here and as we copy it the markup from here we want to go ahead and paste it and for title of course we're going to use the card title for body I will show you a trick that if you are basically in the view let's go back to the view and if you just hover here or if you click open a new tab you would actually see the field machine name so it's field image so let's go ahead and for the image just say fields field image and then dot content that's perfect so also for the body let's go ahead and check for the body basically body is just just body so let's go ahead and copy this and just say body and for the link we're going to do exactly the same but here instead of body it's view node that's perfect so now we have the title we have the we have the title we have the image we have the content and we have the node link so if we just save now and if we go back to our list and clear the cache one more time let's see if it actually would work Well, that's perfect it looks exactly as we expect it to look like it looks like a card here is our title here is the body here is the link which actually leads to the detail page of the article and yes it looks pretty good so if you like this video please check the links in the description Comment if you have any questions, like the video and thanks for watching.